What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And today I want to come in and talk about Brian Laundry because it is reported by TMZ that he is no longer alive. So let's get into that. Okay, so the hunt for Brian Laundry is officially over. The FBI says dental records prove the remains found on a Florida hiking trail match those of the 22-year-old Brian Laundry. Brian's remains were found Wednesday at the Carlton Reserve in Northport, Florida, only hours after the FBI uncovered some of Brian's belongings during an initial search at the creek. Environmental Park. Environmental Park. The Laundry family attorney tells TMZ Chris and Roberta Laundry have been informed that the remains found yesterday in the reserve are indeed Brian's. We have no further comment at this time and we ask that you respect the Laundry's privacy at this time. Now, as reported, Brian's parents led the FBI to the previous, previously unexplored trail where the the feds found some articles of clothing and a backpack they believe might belong to Brian. The medical examiner went to location as well as the Pasco County Sheriff's Office Human Remains Detec Detection Team and a canine. Hmm. The news comes about a month after authorities said they found the body they found in Wyoming of Grand Teton National Park was indeed Gabby's body. The Teton County coroner conducted an autopsy and ruled her death a homicide with authorities saying she was strangled to death. Now, let's get into it because I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat this at all. I'm not. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I'm going to tell you how I feel. And we're going to go on from there. Some of you may not like it, but some of you may not have nothing to say about it and those of you who don't like what i say okay fine those of you who agree okay fine i have no remorse towards him it's unfortunate for his family i'm gonna say that this happened but they i feel like that trip that they took with brian when he first got back after he did what he did to gabby petito in wyoming drove her car, her van back, stole money out of her account. He did all of these things. And I think it, I think he had it in his mind that when he did what he did to her in Wyoming and left her back there and drove her van to Florida and stole money out of her account, he had this in his mind that he was going to do this. And I feel his parents knew he was going to do this because they went on a camping trip and I think that camping trip was the final goodbye. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But this family has not spoken to Gabby Petito's family when they when the mother was texting Brian and when the mother was texting the mother, her, his mother. No one answered to her. Okay? Now, people was like, oh, you know what? He's too nar you know, he's too of a narcissist to take his own life. Well, from what we're reading here, he took his life. Okay? That was a cowardly way out of this. And the family to me didn't get any justice because he took his life. So you can't prosecute a dead body, you know, a dead person. Okay? So it's like even in death. He got away with murder. And that's what makes me so upset because he took the, the easy way out of things. He did not go to jail. Okay. He did not, the family did not get justice at all for their daughter and their loved one, for Gabby. No one got justice on her side. Okay. The family, as soon as Brian got back to Northport, Florida, he told his father, mother and father, what he had done and what he was going to do. And they went on a camping trip. Maybe, And I'm going to say, maybe if he didn't tell them, maybe he didn't say, well, you know what, I'm going to do this. But they hit him. They hit him. They gave Brian enough time to get away from the authorities. So I don't feel... I don't feel any way about this. The only thing I feel about this is that, okay, I guess now, you know, now that this is done and what he did to himself, 
you know, the case is over. But what's going to happen to the parents? Because to me, I feel like they are the ones that prepared him for his hike to get away as far as he can get away. Okay. So I'm still mad with the parents. They did not talk to Gabby's parents at all. And that was somebody who was in their family around them all the time and living there. And they felt like, oh, Gabby's part of this family. Well, she was so, so called a part of your family. Why you guys didn't talk to her family about what your, what your son did? They did not take Brian to the authorities for him to get arrested. They let him get away with murder. Okay. And then he used her credit cards. So even in death, Brian got away with murder. And that I think that's why it, it bothers me because it's like, he, the, they didn't, no one got a chance to question him, okay? The, the mother and father was just, just quiet the whole time, going about their business. When he got back to Florida, okay, they went on a camping trip. And maybe on that camping trip, he just wanted to be around his family for one last time because he had in his mind what he was going to do. And I'm just saying that I'm just throwing it all out there. There's a lot of theories out there. I'm just throwing it out there. But I just feel bad for Gabby's parents and her family. I really feel bad for Gabby's parents and her family because they didn't get any justice at all. But something has to happen to the mother and father because they were behind this. They did not let the authorities talk to Brian. They let him go out into the wilderness and so it's whatever he was at and so he can get away from the authorities. Okay. Let's just say Chris and Chris and Roberta didn't know Brian was going to take his life. Let's just say that. But they still gave him leeway to do whatever it was he wanted to do. They still gave him leeway to get away from the authorities, to not be questioned. Okay. So, I have more, I feel more remorse for Gabby Petito than I do for Brian Laundry. And I know it may sound bad to you guys, but it's like, come on. This guy did what he did. He's guilty all the way around. He did what he did to Gabby, all right? Drove her van back, stole money off her credit cards, Got home, told the mother and father what he had done, because I know they know what he done, okay? And instead of taking him to the authorities or having him turn himself in, they go on a camping trip, and then they prepare him to get away. But it's mighty strange to me that the FBI and the police officers, all of them was at the Carlton Reserve, for about what, three to four weeks or six weeks and didn't find anything. But as soon as Roberta and Chris go out there and help, oh, they find things of Brian's. Now they finding, you know, the human remains. And people were saying that they probably brought those there. I'm not going to go that far, but there's a lot of stuff <laughs> people were saying out there on the internet about that. But I just find it so strange that the FBI had been out there and not one lick of evidence, nothing. But as soon as Chris and Roberta go out there with the FBI, they find a bag. They find this, they find that of Brian's. And now they're saying through dental records that that is Brian Laundry. So are they going to tell us how long he's been dead? I would love to know that. I, I, I'm just, you know, um, yeah. I read the, the people that I really feel bad about in all of this. I feel bad for Gabby's parents and her loved ones. I really do. Because this is, you know, he didn't face, he didn't get a chance to talk to the police. Well, not a chance. He didn't take talk to the police. He remained silent. He never answered the mother's 
you know, Gabby mother's text messages. He ignored them and so did his mother ignore them. Okay. Because they knew what their son, what their son did. All right. And instead of turning his ass in, guess what they did? They went on, they went on a little camping trip. Okay. I guess to say goodbye or for him to get away, whatever. And bought time so that he can go hiking and get away. But it is mighty strange to me that the FBI and the the police were out there searching for him at the Carlton Reserve. But as soon as Roberta and Chris went out there, they find little things of Brian's. I don't know. What do you guys think about all of this? I, I mean, am I signing to to war? Because I, I'm just I'm just pissed off. I'm pissed off because what's going to happen with Chris and Roberta laundry? What's going to happen to the parents? Because the parents gave him leeway to get away and not speak to the police. So what's going to happen now? What's going to happen to them? Do they just go along, go about their happy life? I, I, I just don't know. This story, it just doesn't sit right with me yet. It doesn't sit right with me at all. It doesn't sit right with me at all. <sighs> it doesn't sit right at all. Well... You know, that's all I wanted to say about this. Um, let me know in the comment section. How do you feel about all of this? How do you feel about, you know, his parents? How do you feel about Brian Laundry taking the easy way out? Because he did. Because I wanted him to go to jail. And I wanted that family to get justice. And they didn't get anything. They were cheated. He took his life. <sighs> it's a mess. Just a mess. All right, you guys. Um, like I said, let me know in the comment section how do you feel about all of this. And we will chat later.